Now we know how to create a component, how to play with its template properties, how to add styles to beautify our components, and how to nest one component into another. But until now, we haven't seen how to communicate between our component class and the component's markup DOM. Angular has template syntax that it supports and is made up of interpolation, binding, expressions, conditional templating, template variables, and template expression operators. In this lecture, we are going to see how we can establish communication between our components class and the markup using interpolation. Interpolation is a way to get data displayed in the view. I have our app.component.ts file open here, which is a basic component with some h1 tag in there. You do interpolation by using a pair of matching curly braces in the markup. And the contents of the double curly braces is a JavaScript expression that Angular will evaluate and then convert to a string. So we can add a pair of curly braces in the h1 tag here. And in here, I'm gonna say seven plus three. And when we save this file, over in the browser, we can see that Angular evaluates that to 10. And if we inspect it, we can see that Angular has rendered it as a string of content within our h1 tag. It's important to note that not all expressions are supported. Assignments, newing up variables, changing expressions, and incrementers or decrementers are not valid template expressions. The most common use of interpolation is to display some data from a property we have set on the component class. So let's add a property to our app.component.ts file. So I'm gonna add description and then give it a value and that would be my description. And then in our template, I wanna change the h1 tag to a p tag. And within the interpolation syntax, now I want to give description and save this file. And over in the browser, you should now notice that your description is getting displayed. And when we inspect description, we see that it's now rendered as a string in our HTML markup. Notice that we use the property name directly in the interpolation statement without any reference like the this reference, so we didn't have to do this dot description or any other component instance reference. We can directly use description, which is a property in our app component. The component property is made available via what is known as the expression context. Methods on component class are also available in the expression context. So if you wanna go back to our app.component.ts file, and add a method called is available and make it written true. We're going to go back to our template as well and then add another p tag and within which we're going to add our interpolation syntax and this time we are going to call a method here. So if we do it like this and then save this file, back in the browser, you should notice that true gets displayed. 